Hey, what's up my friends? My name's Eric. Today I'm going to be showing you a deck that I have lost all confidence in, to be honest. And that's, I'm saying that five seconds in. That's not usually a good sign. But, you know, it, this is what I've been able to build. And it's not just me. My playgroup have all talked about it. And we've all had our own Marchesta deck at one point in time. And we, we're all in agreement. She looks good. She looks powerful. But isn't. Maybe maybe it's just us. Maybe we're doing it wrong. But uh, one blue, black, red gets you a 3-3 human wizard with dethrone. For those of you who don't know, whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Other creatures you control have dethrone. So there's you know there's your potential right there. Whenever a not potential, but there's I I'm just yeah. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Now the thing that we like the most about this is you give your other creatures dethrone and then it's really easy to keep all your creatures coming back. You know, the problem is that uh, we don't really have a lot of creatures that do plus one counters on their own, I guess. I don't really know what the problem is, but let's take a look at the deck. You'll see what I have. Maybe I'll see what you have and, and you know, maybe we can share some ideas because that'd be great. So I can finally get this deck to work right. Or maybe, maybe it's not just us. Maybe she looks like she'd be really good, but she's just not. So that's Marin or Marchesa. It's not sorted. No, it is sorted. Huh? I have no blue cards in here, apparently. So, just jump right to islands. There's three islands. That, that threw me off. Uh, then we have Grim Harvest Specs, because, you know, drawing cards. Necrotal looks fun to abuse. Uh, Desecration Demon is big, scary, and, you know, plus some counters on his own. Guild Leaf Widower is a great piece of removal, I think. Uh, and Menace, you just keep bringing it back. Uh, Blood Gift Demon, drawing cards. Necropolis Regent makes plus one counters a lot easier to get, so I, I figured it was an auto include. Shriek Maw is nice. We got Omnixilis, he gets plus one counters on his own. Uh, Vein Drinker does the same thing, and you know, it shoots stuff. The cases are all staticky. Uh, Harvester of Souls for more draw power. This guy that I can never say his first half the name, the Black Primordial, he steals stuff out of the grave, which is one of the best things to do with Marchessa is you take your opponent's card, you get in a plus one, plus one counter somehow, and then it's yours. Uh, it'll die, and then, you know, it'll it'll go on your side of the field at the next end step. Butcher Malkir is great pack. Uh, we got the Victim of the Night is good removal. Since those are tribes, you don't see a ton of in EDH. Got Doomblade. Unspeakable Symbol is a must-have. It's an auto-include for any Marchesa deck because you pay three life, so that keeps your life down. You can keep their life above yours, which is how you trigger Dethrone. And then, you know, it puts a plus one counter on target creature. So it, it's even better. It's a, it's an auto-include. Praetor's Grasp is something I've been toying around with, but I don't really see it doing great. It might it's it's probably gonna get caught soon. Ren Flesh, Eye Blight's ending, more removal for tribes you don't see a lot of. Uh, greed, keep your life down, draw some cards, enslave, because uh, it, if you enslave it, I mean, it keeps doing damage to its owner, but, you know, it, you steal the creature, and that's the main thing, you get a plus one plus one counter on it, when it dies, you get it back anyway, grave betrayal is the same deal, steal the opponent's creatures, killing wave, uh, it, it seemed appropriate, it seems fun, especially since, um, for each creature, it's controller sacrifices it unless he or she pays X life. I'm fine with that because I'll just throw my creatures away if they have plus one counters. Marchesta's ability brings them back. Same with Death Cloud. I do the same thing and throw away my own creatures. And we got the swamps. I don't know how many. One, two, three, four swamps. On a red. Stormbreath Dragon. Uh, it's something that I think gets uh, counters real easily. And Pro White is very nice. The, the Flying and Haste is just added bonus. Uh, conquering Manticore, more stealing of creature, the opponent's creatures to, uh, you know, hopefully keep longer than the one turn. Flare of the Hatebound, everybody says you have to have this, even though I've never drawn him. Uh, I just put it in because you see him in most of the uh, Marchesa builds that you go and look up. But, uh, you know, whenever he or another creature enters the battlefield from a graveyard, deals damage to the opponent, so, or the creature or opponent, and it has them dying. I mean, you're using... You're bringing stuff back from the grave a lot, so it's understandable. Uh, Molten Primordial, you get to uh, steal more stuff, so hopefully you get a plus encounter on it. 
Curse of the Stock, Curse of Stocked Prey. You know, more plus one counters. Chaos Warp, excellent removal. Uh, Warstorm Surge, because you're bringing a lot of creatures into play a lot, so, you know, why not burn people? And something that uh, I do every now and then with it is uh, I will burn myself, so I can keep the opponent still higher life than I have, so I can still trigger Dethrone. It's not something you see a lot of people do, but if you ever need to, Warstorm Surge in a pinch, you just shoot yourself. And it's controlled, too. I mean, you, you can easily you can easily keep keep an eye on it and plan it out. Star Storm. Uh, molten Disaster, you don't have a lot of global removal in these colors, so mountains, one, two, three, four, five mountains. Uh, multicolors, we got Dominus of Fealty, again, stealing, hopefully killing it uh, with a counter so you can keep it longer than one turn. Ixava is great, uh, since she, you know, unleashes and each other creature with a counter on it has haste, so she immediately gets a counter off her own ability. Olivia Voldoran is more plus one counters, and as she flies, Lightning Reaver, Charge counters and then it deals damage. It's something that's okay, but um, it's it's on the chopping block. It was, it's mostly because it has fear and it, it can um, get charge counters on it. And then you can use the charge counters to, uh, you you know, you can really get crazy with it. But I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's something I'm playing with. Probably won't keep it in the deck for long. Uh, we got Grim Grin, because plus some counters. And Sack Outlet. That's another thing. You can sacrifice another creature... And then that helps steal the opponent's creatures for good. Uh, Deathbringer Thokdar gets plus one counters. You know, that's not too tough to do. Got Blood Tyrant. He's in here because he's Flying Trample, 5-5. Five, five. And um, I do like how when a player loses the game, you put five counters on him. That's cool. It's, it's hardly ever relevant. But for seven, you get a 5-5 five, five Flying Trample. That has the other ability. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player loses a life. You can put a plus encounter on him for each life loss this way. He's he's clearly a multiplayer type card, and that's fine with me because he still works in single one on one combat. You got Vampiric Dragon. Uh, it can shoot stuff, so you can it helps keep your life down if you need to. It can take out little creatures. You can also get plus one counters on him through his ability. That's nice. The the shooting can also finish off creatures if you need to. Thraxamundar is the old uh general but um yeah it, yeah i like him a lot he he was the general until i got a marchesa but uh before that he was in another deck and that turned into a grim grin deck and i don't know maybe i'll just rebuild a thrax deck because i like thrax him under a lot he's really cool um uh, you got the removal terminate the hell oh that's right i dropped this deck before recording, I dropped the deck, so that's why the blue's out of order. Yeah, okay. I, I, I didn't think it got messed up. Okay, so we're going to jump back because, you know, professional and whatnot. So, the blue does have stuff. I thought it was very strange not to have any blue cards. But, uh, yeah, I dropped the deck and I picked it up real quick. I forgot about that. So, uh, blue, Semic Manipulator, a Chasm Skulker. They both make their own plus one counters for themselves. Uh, this guy, he has horsemanship, and you almost never see horsemanship, so you almost always draw a card. Uh, River Kelpie is great because you keep bringing stuff back from the grave. He brings himself back as well. Sphinx of Magosi gets plus some counters easily, and you draw a card. Mole Drifter is just amazing. Any deck that has blue should have a Mole Drifter. This steals stuff. Uh, this also steals stuff. Sphinx of Uthun, I love abusing his ability because what he does is when he comes to play he'll factor fiction so you get you look at the top five and uh the opponent separates them into two piles you get to pick a pile you want to keep it's really nice this guy's removal that you can just keep bringing back uh rapid hybridization pongify and island so all right there's the blue sorry about that uh, again i forgot that i dropped the deck on the floor on my way to doing this video and uh, i thought it was all sorted out but uh so more uh, multicolor removal. Got wrecking ball. It's a little expensive, but and it just does a creature or land. I never do lands, but uh, yeah, four for instant destroy a creature. Slave of Bullets is a must-have. It's an auto include because you can steal the creature. You hit the opponent with it, and then you have to sacrifice it. Well, Marchesa's dethrone will keep it coming back onto your side. Void is really cool. Uh, I never really play it, but the idea of it is really cool. You choose a number, destroy all artifacts and creatures with the converted mana cost equal to that number. Then that player reveals his or her hand, discards all non mana cards with the converted mana cost equal to that number. It's cool because you can, you know, 
kill stuff and you get the dethrone trigger. I like that a lot. You can also just kill stuff that the opponent has. That's the way I should word it. You can you can kill a bunch of stuff, but you don't have to worry about yours because most likely they'll come back. Scuttling Doom Engine is so nice with Marchesa bringing that thing back because every time it dies, the opponent loses six life. Uh, Scythe of the Wretched, it kills and steals stuff. Then we got the Multicolored Lands. Uh, so we got Sulfurous Springs, Temple of Malice, Bloodfell Caves, Akum Refuge, Rakdos Guildgate, Shivan Reef, Temple of Epiphany, Swiftwater Cliffs, Is that Guildgate? Uh, is that Boiler Works? Salt Marsh, Dismal Backwater, Demir Guildgate, Joar Re Isle Refuge, Temple of Deceit, Tainted Island, Drowned Catacomb, Demir Aqueduct, Trans Guild Promenade, Rupture Spire, Opal Palace because plus one counters, Mana Confluence, City Brass. These two are very important. Colosseum hurts you as well, but not as you can tap it for colors. But these are very important to keep your life total down to keep the dethrone trigger going. Command Tower, Terror Expanse, and Evolving Wilds. Yes, I know I should have the Tri Land in. I just don't have any at the moment to put in. But um, yeah, there's my Marchesa, the Black Rose deck. Uh, obvious mistake aside of having blue in the middle of the multicolor, but that's what I have. Um, the deck I don't feel works very well. I might end up just scrapping the whole thing. Oh, sleepy. But, uh, yeah, my chest is just something that it, she looks so good and she looks powerful, but it, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for my friends. It doesn't work for my playgroup at my local shop. I never see a Marchesa deck. Nobody ever talks about Marchesa for EDH, around me anyway. So maybe it's not just me. If you guys have a Marchesa deck that works a lot better, if you have suggestions, I'd love to hear them uh, because I'd love to be able to get this deck to work. I hate scrapping decks. I'm obviously a collector. I have uh, I don't remember how the guy put it. I was talking to somebody recently. He says it's like a disease where you just have the, the urge to keep building more EDH decks. It's like, I have like 20 decks and like 10 more in a project box. They're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't even play them. I have decks I've never played. Like my Vendillion Click I made years ago. Never played it. But uh, it's 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 a thing. Um, so, yeah. But uh, if you guys have suggestions, I'd love to hear them. So, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.